everyone, this is May. I'm here at New York Comic Con 2018 with Camila DeRico, this amazingly talented artist. How are you enjoying the con? Oh, I'm having such a good time. I've lost my voice. Um, <laughs> it happens every year, even though, like, I, as much as I talk at home, I still I'm unprepared for how much enthusiastically people want to con like converse with me. So yeah, I just like yeah, it's gone, and I'm I'm loving it. So tell us about how you got into creating art. Wow. Well, ever since I was like a kid, I've always loved cartoons and I loved art, and definitely. The, the thing that made me want to be a professional artist was The Little Mermaid. I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, people get hired to just like draw and, and do art all day. So even as a child, I remember thinking, that's what I want to do. And so I, that's what got me into it. And then I was really funny and kind of embarrassing story of high school. My best friend really liked this guy named Romeo and he was really into comics. So I, you know, I, like I jumped on the grenade for her and I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll, like, this is your in. So I started to do like a comic book with him and it was like the devil um, <laughs> teams up with Jesus to save the universe. Um, it never got published, uh, but <laughs> that's what kind of got me into comics. And then um, what got me into doing what I do now with, uh, as well as the, the paintings was an amazing gallery in Vancouver that took a chance on me. So that was like the evolution of my life. And, um, and yeah, I've been doing it for the past um, uh, 20 years. Yeah. You're not 20 yourself. No, I mean, no. I, I don't think I've aged <laughs> mentally. I think I'm still at 18. Um, <laughs> I mean, you, you just look very young. Oh, do you? It no, keeps I, you young. I just turned 38, so yeah. I thank you though, yes. I'm like Peter Pan, like you never grow up, right? Yeah. Well, if you do what you enjoy. Um, so do you do comic book art also? Yes, I do. Um, so I do comic books and uh, a lot of them are, um, you can get the one now online at Webtoons and it's called Da Vinci Bee. So you can check that out for free. And then I'm also uh, pitching a new story called Helmet Girls, um, Helmet, Helmet Girls Origins. So. I'm gonna see how that's gonna develop, whether it's webtoons or it's like with Image Comics, or we'll see who, who like where I go with it. But um, if you want to check out some of my work now, you can go and check out Tam Popo. It's my graphic novel that I published with Boom. All right, we'll have links to all this in the description. Do you have an absolute favorite piece that you've worked on? I think there's so many, but there is the one that I think means the most to me. Uh, it's I call her Beyond the Rainbow. And it's a girl who has a, a hole in her chest and there's rainbows spilling out. I, I'll show you the picture. And for me, that was a, a turning point in my career. So at the time, I didn't know that I was going to continue to be an artist because making art as a career is different than doing it as a hobby. And so doing it for years, I sort of start, started to lose the passion of it. I started to feel, feel like I was boxed in. So I had to do girls with big eyes and, and animals on their heads because that's what I was known for. So then in 2012, Tara McPherson asked me to do a show at her gallery. And I said, yes, but can it be anything I want? She's like, yeah, anything. No gallery had ever said that to me. So then I created this piece called Beyond the Rainbow and it was a self-portrait. I felt it was like me and all that paint was spilling out and I had nowhere to go. And, and it was so funny because you can come from a place of like, that of, of not depression but just sadness and be inspired so now I carry that piece on my cell phone so that I remember to always create art from the heart so that that's that one's the most meaningful to me that's beautiful so are there any upcoming shows or galleries that you're doing yes so I just had a solo show at Corey Helford and that one uh, you, there's still a, I think one piece left and that one is called Sky and it's uh, based on diversity and unity. So I wanted to paint girls and, and, go, and guys who have all sizes and shapes and like ethnicities and sexualities, just to show that we are all, we all share the same sky. Uh, and then my next solo show is gonna be at Haven Gallery in Newport here in New York. And that one's gonna be a Zodiac show. So I'm so excited, um, except for the Libra piece, cause I'm a Libra, so I'm like, oh man, I don't know what I'm gonna do cause we Libras never know what we're gonna do. <laughs> So tell us about your books. I'm really excited about my books. So I've got this new one that just debuted called uh, Pop Manga Mermaids. It's a coloring book and it follows on the heels of my successful um, pop manga coloring. 
But this one's all mermaids. It's like mermaids and sea creatures, which I mean, like I said, I love mermaids from The Little Mermaid. So this book is like an homage to my favorite um, supernatural creature. And then I also have a new book called The Beehive. And I'm a really big into conservation um, and also environmental. So I, I like, uh, so I want to teach people to save the bees. So I teamed up with Planet B, which is a charity in San Francisco, and we raise money to build hives and uh, teach children uh, about bee conservation. So that's one of my super special books that I'm debuting here at the show. And links to all of her work are in the description. And where can people find your art online and you on social media? Oh, that's easy. You can go to my website, Helmet Girl, or <laughs> Helmet Girl is, is my Twitter handle. You could go to my website, CamilaDerico.com. You can also check out my online shop, The Camila Store. And then on Instagram, I'm the verified Camila, Dur Camila Derico. So you, you can see it. Um, I'm there. I love Instagram. I'm always on it. I'm also on DeviantArt, Tumblr, Facebook, you know, you name it. Um, I haven't taken up Snapchat, though. But I think that's on my hit list, you know? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so Thank you much. much. Everyone, thanks for watching. As always, follow your fandom. Thank you for watching this video. I am Invader Zim, and I traffic in doom. And so, if you do not subscribe to this channel, you will have doom that befalls you by me, Invader Zim.